I'm curious, which leads me to the next big issue here. Because mm. we get some answers during the Watch What Happens Live situation. Now, Melissa Gorga went on Watch What Happens Live last night. I didn't honestly think that this was going to go the best, just knowing that they're <laughs> filming the reunion this week. But I was surprised at a few things. Like when Joe Gorga said, it's not over. Like, it's not over. We're family. What are you talking about, bro? It's not over. Like, we're not done here. You know, like the chapter's not closed. Of course, we're going to have conversations, whatever. And then Andy said to Melissa, he was like, well, I feel like, you know, honestly, I feel like this story has kind of run its course and we're not going to get anywhere. And she asked him, were well, you a therapist, Andy? I don't, I don't believe you're a therapist. Are you a certified therapist? I didn't think you are. Are you? And he's like, no, I'm not a fucking therapist, but I've been doing this for 16 fucking years. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, oh, Melissa. Mess. Mess. What were your thoughts? Well, to be honest with you, I thought it was very telling when Joe said, it's not over. It's not over, really. Because this entire season, you've been saying it's over. You have made it very apparent that you don't want to repair things with Teresa or forge a relationship with Louis. So what changed all of a sudden? Why are we now deciding that we want to move on? And if you ask me, I think it's because there's more people on Team Teresa. And I think Joe and Melissa get a lot of hate online. And I think it's getting to them. That's what I honestly do think. Um, So I think Joe and Melissa, if they were to forge a relationship with Teresa, it would be for the show. And it would be to let bygones be bygones. Because at the end of the day, you cannot tell me that Joe likes Teresa. You can't tell me Teresa likes Joe. And we know Teresa and Melissa don't like each other. So I think if they were to try and really like make something happen, it would just be to save Joe and Melissa's spot on the show. I really do believe that. Now, of course, I do think they have love for each other deep down. Of course. I mean, they are brother and sister. But I just find it funny that all of a sudden, wasn't it just a couple weeks ago that Joe and Melissa were trashing Teresa on their podcast? Now, suddenly, Joe is saying we can make, we can move past it. So what is it? Um, so I think Joe and Melissa are trying to figure out what how they're going to save their spot on the show because i think at deep down they know they're in the minority and that a lot of people aren't in agreement with them when it comes to their feud with Teresa. that's what i think well i also feel like too i mean i i think you might be on to something here you never know actually right but i thought it was very telling when andy said you know the storyline has kind of run its course like i don't feel like where do you go from here Because last year, when Joe was storming off the reunion set, he's like, Joe, get back here. He's like, I quit. I'm done. And he's like, you don't quit. You're not done. And he's not really chasing after anybody right now. He's just kind of like, okay, if this is what it is, sort of so be it. And that's that's another thing, too, is like you never want a cast member, Vicky Gumbelson, to ever think that they're bigger than the show. Because if you think that you're bigger than the show and that you're not replaceable or that you'll always be there... Bravo, the network, the producers will be super quick to remind you how not true that really is. Mm -hmm. I would argue any housewife that's ever been on Housewives is not bigger than Housewives. The only person I would say is maybe done something bigger is Bethany, just like with her charity and like all the other things that she's done. But this is no shade to Bethany. I think Bethany's great. But any other real TV thing she's tried to do hasn't really worked out. And if you go on any of her po- her posts, her social media, everyone just is asking her about Housewives and all that. And she even made a Housewives podcast. Like she knows that that's what people know and love her for the most. Um, so I think really at the end of the day, none of these housewives are bigger than the show. Um, and I think also the, given the fact that Teresa was on her podcast, what a couple weeks ago saying that the chapter is closed and she wants to move on from them. I guarantee you, Joe and Melissa are scared. If Teresa really doesn't want anything to do with them anymore, they know that's going to affect them personally and professionally. And I hate to say it, but it seems to me that the professional side of things is kind of more of a priority to them than the personal if you ask me and i think that's why they're starting to like maybe backtrack a little bit and try and fix things because i think if it was really up to them and the show really wasn't around they wouldn't have a relationship with Teresa at all but if it's going to hit their bank it's going to if it's going to affect the money coming in then i think they're it's obvious that that's why they're changing their tune to me i mean i could be wrong but that's that's just the vibe i'm getting right now that's the vibe that's the vibe okay yeah. As long as we know, we've established that's the vibe. So going into it for your prediction, you think that Joe, I don't want to say is going to grovel or anything, but you think that he's going to be a lot more tame, relaxed and being like, Teresa, I love you. 
Like we, our parents would be so disappointed in us. We've got to stop this for the kids, for our family. I can't do this anymore. It's aging me. It's, it's hurt. It's killing me inside. You understand that Trey? You understand that? Like I could totally see this. Yes. If, if, if they hadn't gone and watched what happens live last night, I would have said, no, I would have said no, based on their podcast, based on the things they post on their social media. I mean, like, you know, they don't hide anything. Like, I would have assumed they would have gone into this reunion guns blazing. Teresa would have gone on guns blazing and they would have really tried to like, you know, explain themselves, but it wouldn't have gone anywhere, you know, but after we saw how they acted on last night's episode, it seems to me they're starting to change their tune and maybe they do want to make amends. So maybe this reunion won't be as explosive if that's the vibe they're going in with. It all depends on what their intentions are. If they really want to go in and just make things right, then okay, cool. But if they're going to go in and reflect their energy or, you know, kind of base their reunion performance off of what they've been giving on social media for the past few months, then it would be an explosive reunion because they've been coming at her a lot. And Cerise has been coming after them. Like it goes both ways. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of mindset they're in when the reunion actually comes around. All right. I mean, that's fair. And my last two questions, and that's literally, I think that is that today or tomorrow? No, it's not today because Lala Kent's on Watch What Happens Live tonight. Yeah, I have no idea, but I know it's this week. Yeah, and it's not Friday because I have an interview with Danielle on Friday. So it's either tomorrow or this weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this should be interesting. Okay, so my next, uh, I have two last questions for you. One, last night, Melissa Gorga said that Margaret Josephs texted her and said, Andy, you're being really hard on me. Do you think that Andy was being extra hard on Melissa? Like he was picking favorites last night? Or do you think that he was just doing exactly what he said? And he's like, it's my job. I got to ask you the questions. Yeah, I didn't think he was being that hard on her, to be honest. I mean, unfortunately, when you go on that show, you're going to be asked a bunch of crazy, silly questions, right? <laughs> and um, Andy has said on the show that he thinks they're they're over. He has said on Watch What Happens Live that he thinks the relationship between Melissa, Teresa, and Joe is done. And so I think going into this Watch What Happens Live last night, he was in that mindset of this relationship is done. Like, I have no problem asking her these really shady questions about Teresa and whatever. And given the fact that Melissa and Joe weren't really in that mindset, it's obvious that they were feeling some type of way, I think, about those questions. So maybe they that's why they thought he was being a little hard on them. But overall, I didn't think his performance that night was any crazier than we've seen him with other housewives in the past. So I don't think he was too hard, to be honest. Okay. And then to cap us off, what are you looking forward to most in next week's episode? Ooh, well, I'm excited to see the Ireland shenanigans continue. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see like what they what they keep doing. But I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even really remember much memorable stuff from the promo <laughs> for next week. So hopefully I'll be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually okay when they don't give us too many memorable things that because sometimes I feel like they make it into like one of those great Disney trailers where we get all of the best moments in the trailer. Then you watch the movie and you're like, oh, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've seen that too many times, I think. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> AKA the last season of Salt Lake City. <laughs> <laughs> well, this season we get Mary Cosby. So here we go. <laughs> okay, I am excited for that. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much to everybody in the live chat for joining us. If you guys didn't see on the banner before, well, I put it up earlier. Join us tonight for the Vanderpump Rules after party. Jason is making his special cocktail for the night, and it's based off of Tom Sandoval's Howie Mandel interview. It's called the Narcissistic Dickery. <laughs> kind of a play on a daiquiri. So that will be a lot of fun, and we will play drinking games and all of that. But join us at 10.45 p.m. Eastern after Lala Kent's Watch What Happens Live appearance on Up and Adam Channel 2. 